Thousands of years ago, the gods Poseidon and Athena battled for the favor of Athens. According to legend, Poseidon smashed his trident upon the land to create a salt spring, while the wise Athena offered a more productive gift. She planted an olive tree atop the Acropolis. The city's denizens chose Athena, and you can still find an olive tree in the same spot today. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to You Live Everything in Wonder, and welcome back to Sicily. I'm Luca, this is Sara, this is Rosario, this is our friend Giuseppe. Hi. And this beautiful baby girl is our daughter, Luce. <laughs> Today we are here with Giuseppe, our friend Giuseppe and his son Rosario on our property. I don't know if you watch our previous episodes, Giuseppe is the one that introduced us to this beautiful land. We went to see one of his properties. Which was for sale yes, and probably ago. he already sold it. We met him and he told us, okay, if you don't like this this property there are so many possibilities here in this area so just let me know what are your dreams and i will help you and he help us so <laughs> we are here and thank you so much Giuseppe. you're welcome we are very happy to be here i'm happy too <laughs> thank you so why are we together here on our property because giuseppe is an expert uh, with olive trees uh, and today we will be looking uh, few of our trees uh, to try to know the age uh, and more about them uh, because we are super curious and we are super interested yeah. to know more. <laughs> let's go and discover something new. Yes, uh, let's walk around. Go. Go. Andiamo. The olive tree is symbol of peace, wisdom, fertility, prosperity, friendship and it loves the Mediterranean sun and the sea and it's such a strong plant because it survives in extreme conditions and it grows on arid and rocky soils and the cultivation of the olive trees here in Sicily has very ancient roots like thousands of years it was brought by the Phoenicians on the island and then with the Greeks of Sicily became popular and sacred. Eradicating even a single tree was a penalty of exile. And I think it's very important to know more about the history of the plants, the history of our little stone house, but it's also important to know more about ourselves. So a few weeks ago I took a DNA test in the van. We have been traveling for so long, exploring new countries and learning about different cultures. And several times we ask ourselves, are we 100% Italian? We will find out today. So I would like to say a huge thank you to My Heritage DNA for sponsoring today's video. To me, just to find out my origins and potentially find New relatives that I didn't know about all around the world is just amazing. My Heritage is the number one family history and DNA service in Europe and it makes exploring your family history easier than ever. It's super easy to use, it's just a cheek swap, takes two minutes, helps you discover your origins and find new relatives, covers more regions than any other test. Your DNA results will reveal ethnicity estimate, percentage breakdown of your origins across 42 support ethnicities and 2114 geographic regions. It will also do DNA matches with new relatives based on shared DNA. In addition to the DNA testing, MyHeritage offers a platform that makes it easy to build your family tree and research your family history. MyHeritage is committed in its privacy policy to never sell or license genetic data. Okay, let's find out where I'm from, guys. I got the email with the results. What do you think, Amora? I believe uh, you are one third Italian, okay. one third uh, Austrian, mm -hmm. and one third German. Okay, so let's find out. Oh, this is exciting. Sara, you, you are. are... Whoa, 
42.5% Italian. 42.5% Italian. 29.2% North and West European. Okay. What? 30.1% Irish, Scottish and Welsh. What? No way! I told you! 9.8% Balkan. Because everybody told me that I don't look Italian, I look more from the east side. And 5.4% two more ethnicities. Saudi Arabia, you see? 13%. Irish, Scottish and Welsh. Yes. I wasn't expecting this. Yeah. Third cousin, Switzerland, Brazil, France. It's amazing. You can see, you can review the DNA matches and you can see the tree. You can also build your family tree. My heritage as a promotion right now. So click the link in the description box below this video and use the coupon code LEAW for free shipping. So thank you so much again to my heritage. It was amazing. So interesting to find out more about my origins and now let's go back to the olive trees we just stopped uh, at this tree i've been putting numbers on the trees this is number seven and giuseppe was uh, explaining me how old it is uh, and why they are so distant uh, bet one between an another this tree is uh, at least uh, 300 years old uh, four probably 400 years old yeah. and uh, he was explaining me that uh, back in the in those days uh, they didn't have uh, the nets uh, that uh, were introduced in this area about uh, in the 70s uh, before they were just picking from the floor and uh, they were letting the trees grow really really high the tendency now is to keep them smaller so you can work uh, from uh, under the tree and uh, you have the nets now it's a different uh, kind of uh, harvesting and uh, the distance between one tree and another is so big uh, because they would let the tree grow so big and so high and uh, in the in the middle in the between the two trees uh, they were able to plant other things a lot of legumes uh, here in this area we also tried uh, Giuseppe's uh, fava beans. Uh, it was so important uh, to, to plant uh, the, the fava beans uh, for two reasons. Uh, the first one, because they would eat them uh, and uh, they would feed also the animals. Uh, so it's uh, for food. But the second one uh, is that uh, the fava beans uh, are full, uh, the plants are full of azoto, which is a really good uh, natural fertilizer. So they would uh, fertilize uh, the, the land uh, under the trees. Allora, in questa albero, ad esempio, Luca, no? Sara, vedi che nessuno dei tre riesce ad avere una grande vegetazione, una grande forza di recupero. After we will be harvesting our olives this year or next year, we will have to do a big job about cutting the trees because as you see here as Giuseppe was non explaining now tagliare Sara scusami vai, vai. ma anche proprio estirpare dalla radice ah proprio ok not only cutting but you have to remove all the also the roots from the soil otherwise uh, will not be good so for example here you see three trunks and we have to leave only this one because as you see here the vegetation is too high on this one and so it's not good because the, the tree will just grow too high and it's not what we want. And this one seems to be the, the healthiest. Yes. So we will keep only this one. The nutrients from the ground, instead to go to tree trunks, to tree trees, let's feeding. say like this. Yeah, feeding three, three trees, they will only feed once, so the energy will go only to one. Uh, this of course is better for, for the tree and also for the olives. Come si chiamano queste? More. Black, blackberries. Luce loves more. blackberries. More. Uh, Rosario went to pick some up and she's like uh, putting four or five uh, in her mouth. In like, her mouth. She's like, it says, loves them. would you like one? And she was like, wow, grabbing, grabbing all, all of them. them. Ti piace, amore? <laughs> Say thank you, Rosario. Ecco. Ecco. 
way we are arriving to another monument. Giuseppe, what about this tree? This is a, a monument. Let me try to hug the tree. Probably, probably is uh, uh, 1,000 years. 1,000 years old. Uh, it's the grandpa. Yes. It's the grand, 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 grandpa of our trees. This one is really, 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 ma sai che tanti mi hanno detto che se c'è il vischio ha scritto che il terreno è buono il terreno è buono ma fa male all'olivo Giuseppe vuoi dire che si planta il vischio? vischio in italiano tu hai detto che alcuni di voi commenti che se hai questa pianta sul terreno allora ah, qui that means that the soil is rich and it's, it's very good but at the same time it's not it's a parasite plant so it's not good for the tree we have to remove that we have to clean the trunk so also the beauty of the tree will be better so in this we can start to clean everything straight away as soon as we will get the tools the first tools we'll start cleaning And this one could be 500, 600 years old. In five secoli minimo, minimo cinque secoli. Considera che avrà sicuramente quasi cento anni questa questo più giovane più bianco. Okay, so just. This little one here could be 100 years old. This so. is the son of this one. This is the son of the big one. And the big one uh, at least 500 uh, years more, old. More, more, surely more. The same this one. Because you can note yeah. in the past the cut. The yeah. cut, the cut, the cut originally. This one is very, very big. Oh, rosario with oregano. More oregano. Good job. Che bello. Giuseppe, you are there. Sara, expert. Luca, mm -hmm. in bocca al lupo. <laughs> Avrete di che, di che lavorare qui. Ci sarà veramente, non è esagerato, ma c'è veramente un bel lavoro di recupero da fare. Perché le piante sono bellissime. Eh, veramente monumenti però vanno, vera vanno recuperate C il, il terreno va sistemato in bocca al lupo non Grazie. mi resta che farvi i miei migliori auguri sono sicuro che riuscirete nei vostri progetti eh... now Giuseppe is living he needs to go and work on his uh, property he's wishing us mm -hmm. uh, really good uh, luck uh, in uh, all the jobs we need to do the property is beautiful the trees are fantastic but uh, there is uh, a lot of work involved uh, we really need to clean under the trees uh, we need to clean uh, the property and uh, there is a lot of potatura meaning uh, cuttings uh, to be done. Uh, he will be our teacher. Yeah, teacher. No our teacher. teacher through this only long, fin, long path. Only fin. Grazie Giuseppe. Grazie Giuseppe. See you next time. Ciao Manina. We received a lot of comments about our van, second chance, uh, where is it, uh, why is it not on the property and uh, one of our plans was to bring as soon as possible the van here on the property in order to be here, to live here and to have uh, everything we need uh, over here. The problem we found uh, is that to get uh, with the van uh, down here there are many trees, olive trees and branches uh, 
on the road uh, driving down here and um, we don't want to cut uh, those uh, branches, those uh, trunks, uh, those uh, olive trees right now because uh, we want to do it after the harvest season, meaning starting from October to December. So we figured out that it would be better if uh, for this season uh, we find a temporary solution uh, uh, and uh, we bring the, the van uh, after the harvesting when we can cut the trees uh, and uh, make this road accessible also with uh, bigger vehicles like uh, our van Second Chance uh, that it, it's tall so um, we can uh, drive uh, through these uh, olive trees uh, which is impossible to do right now because uh, they are really low as you can see here they are really low and uh, it, the, the van uh, would uh, would not fit uh, here on the road it would uh, touch all these um, olive trees uh, and uh, damage them and it would damage also the van uh, so it's, uh, it's not a good idea. Since we decided not to bring our van here for the reasons uh, I just told you and there is a huge uh, heat wave, uh, really really hot, uh, we decided uh, to rent uh, a little apartment uh, in the nearby village uh, so we can have showers, uh, we can have a um, washing machine uh, and uh, be a little bit uh, in a cool place, uh, not so hot. It's just temporary for us, but it's a perfect solution because we have the shower, we have the laundry machine, we have the fridge that is always running and perfect. And in, in the van was just miserable, was too hot. And we want a safe environment for Luce. <laughs> also because at least uh, she can walk over there. Yes and do a lot of things uh, she loves doing. She she starting to walk as you can see. Vieni, come here. No, vai, vieni da mamma. Vieni da mamma. Vieni, amore, che brava. Good job. Vieni, yes, vieni da camera. papà, vieni, vieni. I'm talking about the heat wave. Now it's time to leave the property and this afternoon, this late afternoon after lunch, we will go to the beach. <laughs> to one of the closest beaches we have here. We are about eight minutes from the beach, like from, from the, the seaside. From the sea. And we have many possibilities. We want to enjoy uh, a dip in the fresh water. And it's, we are not going like every day because we are very busy here uh, on our land. But it's cool to have the sea, like whenever you want, you just go there. And we'll see you later. Mama. See you, amore. Do you want to go to the beach? She wants to go to the camera. She wants okay. to grab the, go, the go tripod. Go to the camera. Go to the tripod. Bye, bye. Go. Get your friend tripod. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, Prendi, go. prendi tripod. Vai, 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 vai. Vai a prendere tripod. Vai, vai, vai. Vai, vai. vai a prendere tripod. È lì che ti aspetta. I'm here. I'm here. Vieni Luce, vieni. Vieni Luce. Vieni. Vieni amore, vieni. Vieni amore, vieni, 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 vieni. Vai, 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 vai. Vai, vieni, vengo di qua. Opla. Opla. Op. Vieni. Vieni, vieni, guarda, eh. Opla. Aspetta. 3, 2, 1. Così. Opa. Vieni, vieni, vieni. Brava! Okay, beautiful people, we are going to the beach. Uh, we are 
all packed. Uh, but first the gelato, Sara wants gelato uh, stop. Yes, the gelato. The gelato today. Okay, my love. Thank you, Mora. Hey, hi. Hi, we are going to the beach today. And just like this, we are on the coast, on the main road, and we have so many possibilities. Like there are many, many beaches, some with pebble stones, mostly with pebble stones. Where do you want to go today? I would like to have pizza, so I would <laughs> like to go on a beach ah. where we have a pizza near. Okay, so today is a kind of gelato pizza day. <laughs> yes. Uh, And Luce is enjoying uh, the caterpillar. They are fixing the beach. So it will be a little bit noisy, but then the, per the beach will be perfect. Unfortunately, I have a bad news. The gelateria was closed. Sunset. Okay guys, we said uh, gelato, we didn't have uh, the gelato. We said pizza, but uh, we are too hungry to wait for the pizzeria to open. So we decided to have uh, a pericena, meaning that uh, you get a apero spritz, uh, a, um, cocktail. a cocktail, and uh, together with the cocktail, they bring you food. Uh, How is the name? Apericena. So apericena is that you eat together, aperitivo. Aperitivo is, is the cocktail basically. Yeah, sometimes you eat something like this, some, some chips snacks. or some snacks. But apericena it means that uh, the snacks are... Abundant, they are rich. <laughs> are rich. We are super hungry, we have a beautiful view. The bulldozers, uh, yeah, excavators, yeah. they stopped working, so we enjoyed uh, a nice swim. Uh, Luce took a shower, we, yeah. uh, we too, and now we, we're getting some food, uh, some drinks, uh, and uh, relax. Because tomorrow morning, we will wake up at 5 in the morning. Yeah, so our days are pretty long. Oh, Luce is taking, is taking over. Okay, 
Lucia's taking over the vlog, guys. Okay, this is okay. Uh, Lucia's vlog. Uh. <laughs> the Lucia's vlog, first. <laughs> Lucia's first vlog. <laughs> yes, yes, Lucia, say something. Mm -hmm. So basically, Lucia is vlogging now. She took oh, over the camera. You are natural. Good job, Lucia. Good job. <laughs> No, 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 no. She wants to smash the camera. <laughs> With the piña. <laughs> Don't smash the camera, Lucia. We need that. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, amore. Cheers. Cheers. This is Apero Spritz. It's very common in Italy. Apero and Prosecco and soda sparkling water and ice and a slice of orange and that is the sea we have couscous pasta pasta pizza salami some chips potato chips And here is where we will let you go, beautiful people. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, please show to us smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a new episode. And please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. We love you, we appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us and stay with us. Because uh, next Sunday we will be showing you more the stone house inside as well because we will be emptying uh, and seeing what is inside and how it is inside. We haven't seen it before. Yeah, and we will try also to clean the property and remove all the garbage. But yeah, we will do our best as yeah. always. Little by little, step by step. Uh, we will start doing a, a lot of things. We will see you next Sunday and remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful and, and love always wins. L'amore vince sempre. Luce fell asleep, <laughs> so we will let you with some uh, images of her. Ciao! Ciao! <laughs> Vediamo le cose di qua.